There's Laroon over there, that's where we started. Ah, uh, gotta pack up, do a little walk because a little hill up here, I'll just go and hop off level for the other side. Magic little spot. I'm very tempted to just sit here and do nothing and not go any further. Which means I probably need something to eat. So, bonus breakfast. Here we go. You might see a pretty tree. I see a horrible tree. It's the back wind blowing over the hill. And this whole ridge has just got the sea air coming, pushing over it. So what does that mean? Ha ha, sorry for you. You see that mountain over there? Eh, uh, you need to walk up that one. Walkies. What is this place? <laughs> Sunday evening. I think I'll have another one. And I'm just trying to knock off some caves so that tomorrow morning I don't have too far to walk to get up to the launch site. So same game plan as last night, just walk to the base of the hill, find a river, find a campsite, and then uh, tomorrow morning we can use the early hours to go up while it's still cool. You just fell down. Are you alright? Pretty idyllic. Looks like there's a bit of mist this morning, so it's going to be lovely for walking. And uh, we're heading off up the valley to go and find somewhere to fly. I need to take a shortcut if you've got a lot of time. On the map, the own just shows a little hiking trail coming up through here. Well, yeah, there's a hiking trail, you know, it's been beaten flat by those thousands of ex-peer paragliding athletes. Um, that's the problem. You take a shortcut and you're walking through chest high ferns or something and uh, your footing's quite tricky. You end up using more power and getting more tired than if you just gone around the road which is really nice and smooth and it's a steady gradient. So back on the road for me. Alright, I just had second breakfast and uh, at the back of the restaurant there was a shop and in the shop there was everything and right in the back corner there were some boots check it out ah, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you ah. oh, and they're so nice they're roomy, my feet are floating ah, and I don't feel any blisters touching anywhere <laughs> so unfortunately those lightweight, super lightweight um, salamons are now dead weight in my pack 
um, 700 grams. I'm just going to have to carry the whole way. They're too expensive to throw away. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm uh, much happier with more weight and good shoes. And now, our first view of the valley to St. Jean Peter Port. Off that way. And I think 10.1 or 10.2 is over there somewhere. Quite a lot of trees. That's okay, we can make it out of out of this valley and glide. Like it's stable. Of course, I can see vultures thermaling over there now. Um, I've just landed on this little peak and I'm gonna walk up to the top. Uh, it's the worst thing there. Eh? It's like it's gonna be walking at two o'clock to four o'clock up to try and catch the last bit of the day. I really wanted to be flying now. It's really disappointing. It's bloody hot. And I got a long way to walk before I can relaunch. Just nothing. is just not working. I mean it's now late in the afternoon and it's bloody hot down in the valley. I know how hot it was, I was walking up. There was a breeze up the slope. Thermals coming through in the trees. Went out twice, just not going up. I don't understand it at all. So it's back up the same hill. Back up there. Try and launch again later. Yes, it was a hard walk. Flip. I went up through the forest. Super steep and I needed the poles all the way up through the forest. Thank goodness for the shade in the forest. Oh man. That's not a breath of wind. Not a breath. And I've seen the vultures coming past. Flapping like this. Kites have come past flapping. The vulture sitting up there on the rock. There's nothing happening. I'm not going to glide off and just go and walk in the valley. That's it. Time out. Chocolate. 
beast set up camp. I'm gonna live up here tonight. It's predicted northerly tomorrow. I'm gonna be super lazy. Stuff it. Wait for the wind. Wait for the flying to come to me. I'm on top of the hill. Launch right next to the campsite. <laughs> the guys are just landing. I think it's flyable. It's early in the day, but let's go fly. Oh well, that was um, that was to be expected really, early in the day. I couldn't wait any longer. Um, this is quite a big transition, um, but I'm on a little hill and I reckon I can just walk up. This is gonna have to be a quick walk up to the top and relaunch. By the time I'm there, the day should be better and I should be able to get out of here.
Okay, that's sweet. Wow, isn't it beautiful here, eh? Just so. near the water so that I can just drink and drink and drink until I pop and um, it's pretty windy but I'm in a little hollow here as you can see it's a nice little setup the wind's kind of going over me and uh, yeah, yeah those are the banished shoes um, <laughs> and for supper tonight what have we got we've got um, biltong he um, we've got chocolate yeah bonus and um, we've got a bar. So I'm onto my rations now properly, except for the chocolate. Um, but I've got more than enough food, and I've got water, and I'm sorted. And I'm feeling good, my feet are happy. Um, very happy with the day. Oh, that final crossing was fantastic. Just got lift, 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 lift. Then went across and got that one thermal that made all the difference. Just put me up under the pass. That was so sweet to get to the top of the pass without having to walk <laughs> and then uh, the walk through here was just sublime it was level, grassy, uh, nobody here beautiful countryside so I'm in a good place right now and tomorrow we'll go up there I'm almost at the top but I didn't want to camp at the top because it's too windy up there tomorrow morning we're going to have a look if we can lob off that side and fly into Spain Whee! Bervy life, loving it So I'm a bit weak today. I should have put in my purification tablets but the water was running off the mountain and it was like through the rocks and it looked so clean. I can never tell there. So now I'm purifying everything but um, I'm not holding any water and I'm feeling pretty weak. So I'm just going to walk along. Silly me. through there. Coming up here, running down there. Jeez, what a bummer. It's not gonna happen. It's been teasing me, got me to set up. Been here an hour now and it's just pulling over the top all the time. Seems I have an escort. Silly moose. They've been following me for about a K. Can't get them to stop. Just gotta keep walking, I don't know if they think I've got food or something. Silly moose. I'm hoping to find somewhere nice to camp here. Uh, I guess not here. You can set the tent up. I don't have the energy. I think it was like 5 or 5.30 or something. I just don't feel like walking anymore. I'm totally flat. And this is pretty boring. We're still in the mist. I'm having my seed bar and built on, but sick and tired of that. Yes, I want roast chicken, man. Ah, 
see sunlight. Good morning, sunshine. The wind's coming down the down the peak. Following him. Uh, geez, that looks intimidating. Going through there and finding walking trails to land on and walk through there. With strong wind down the valley. And hold a sunburn in your hands. Don't let him see. Espanol, uh, English. <laughs> um, I start in Honda Arabia, and uh, walk and fly. So I'm trying, trying to get to uh, Barcelona. Yeah, through the Pyrenees. Um, but uh, now the wind is quite strong up the top. I was up in the peaks, and the wind is really strong. I was a little scared to fly. Uh, when do you start it? So, uh, on, on Sunday. On Sunday? Yeah. That's quite slow. To fly a bit, walk, fly, walk. Okay. Nice to meet you. Greg, nice to meet you. Do you need something? Water? Uh, or something? I'm okay with water. A little bit of food would be great. Yeah? I'm just living on energy bars, so. Bread or? Bread, yeah. Something something with bread would be fantastic. Yeah. Bread, bread and cheese. Okay. That'd be fantastic. Thank you so much. What a contrast to yesterday. Man. <laughs> Yesterday I was so down in the dumps, in the cloud, couldn't see a thing, diarrhea, not flying, and uh, just to have that flight this morning, just put a smile on my dial, but there's nowhere to fly here, just both sides are fairly low ridges covered in trees, and that looks, uh, it's about 6 k's away, so that's maybe 2 hours, and it's 2 o'clock now. So I expect with the ascent, I can maybe be up there by five. This is me racing up the path <laughs> as fast as I can go today. Uphill, I've got no legs for uphill. All right, job done. This was my goal for the day, to get up here to fly. I thought I could get here by four or five o'clock. <laughs> I think it's like eight.
down to that penny. That's a baby. Woo! I like it a lot. Oh, I like that day. Man, it was hard walking. Flight to the beginning and flight to the end just made the day. Ah, how awesome was that? How awesome was that? Back to where we came from. It's going to be hot today, uh, it's not even 10 o'clock, the sun's baking down, so we're going to go for a bit of a walk up the pass, it's not too far, um, it's about 3k's or something, we'll go up to the top there and then see if we can fly, I want to get in the air today, I want to try and stay in the air because I don't want to be walking in this.